Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I have a bit of AI video news for you. Let's get started. This is about Drag Nua 1.5. They just made an update in proofing their technology where you can drag around objects inside of AI videos. And on the GitHub page, you can actually see some pretty interesting examples here you can see how the sun is rising and the landscape is coming closer based on these arrows over here you can also rotate the landscape sun is going sideways so there is a lot of interesting things you can do with this now the quality is not amazing at the moment this is still in development but it has a lot of promises, especially having more control over the objects in your video and the motion you want to have. So it's interesting to see these different examples like here with the train where it's either moving forward or backward and the landscape independently of that is moving forward or backward. They also have here examples of their older paper, the 1.0 version, where you can also see arrows going around corners or in squiggly lines to provide different kinds of motions and they actually have some pretty impressive examples in here for example with these skateboarding kids where the motion is laid out on where the characters are supposed to go and you can see there is control over multiple characters in these examples and you can try that out today with these two links here spaces that is for hugging face and then you also have your call up if you don't have any of these yourself, you can try it out with this official link here. You can see right now it's running an A10G GPU. And when you scroll down here, this is where this runs. Now, a lot of people are trying it out. So the waiting time might be pretty long, maybe a minute or two, but that's pretty okay, I would say. And this is very easy to use. So over here, you click on upload the image. And as soon as the image has loaded, you click here on the add drag button. And with that, you click once on the object and then a second time where you want the object to move. And of course, you can add multiple arrows in here, either for objects you want to move or of course, for the movement of the landscape. And then when you have your arrow set, you simply click on run over here and wait for it to finish. There's nothing more to it. I have here a photo of a car. You can see I made only one arrow going for the car direction forward. The car is actually driving forward. The landscape is also moving forward. That might not be ideal, but it's actually a shot that we sometimes can see in movies. So it's pretty okay. And you can see for the movement of the car, the car is actually moving past the lines on the road. So there is car movement and landscape movement on top of that which is pretty impressive, even though the car seems to be melting into the picture at some point. All of this is pretty amazing and has a lot of potential for the future, because from my perspective, I think that image input and image manipulation is the way to go with AI image generation, because text can only give you so much. So by manipulating the objects inside of the image or guiding the image content, you can get much better output with much more control. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.